forgot my lunch this morning. Good thing I was just around the corner from home and I could quickly run back and go get it. That would have been a tragedy. Can you imagine? I have this thing about food. I've said it before a couple of times. And I have a feeling I'm not the only one. I, I like food and I like to have food every day. Uh, it's just a thing I have going on. I don't know. So if I forget my lunch, it's kind of going to ruin the day. Right? That's <laughs> all so I was able to swing back and go get it. No big deal. We did get Timmy's this morning. Sometimes I get coffee from home. Sometimes I get Tim's on the way. For some reason, Tim Horton's coffee that they make in their store is just so much better than anything I can make at home. Like the stuff I make at home is good. I like it, it works. But it's just not the same as when the store makes it. I don't know. But you do have to add an espresso shot into the Tim's coffee to make it coffee. Otherwise it's just coffee flavored water. But still, it's just the perfect mixture. I don't know what it is about Tim's, really. But Canadians go crazy over it coast to coast from St. John's Newfoundland all the way to Victoria Vancouver Island it's like 7,000 kilometers if not more across I don't know what they put in it but whatever it is it's good it's supposed to be a little windy today they're saying up to 60 kilometer an hour gusts or winds that's uh, 40 miles an hour, so it's not like, it's not the worst, it'll be fine. But uh, a little windy, but at least it's not so cold. It's only minus six, so minus eight according to my truck right now. It's supposed to get up to minus six today, which is, you know, probably around, you know, high 20s Fahrenheit, so it's not even that cold. The weekend, it's supposed to go down to minus 40 again. That'll be fun, that'll be fun. We'll be hibernating in the house for the weekend. Thank God for natural gas to heat our house looks like we got ourselves a train first thing this morning no end in sight yet over there oh wait wait it just popped over the horizon there it is they got an engine at the end there pushing You know, it used to be when I was a kid that all the train engines would be at the front. They'd have like three or four, maybe even five engines all pulling. But the way they do it now, like I'm no train expert, but uh, they always have one or two at the front. And then sometimes they have one in the middle somewhere and then they have one at the back pushing. I would think that that would be a much better idea than having them all pull. You know, especially once these this thing hits the mountains, that's a lot of weight. Like each one of those containers is one semi-trailer. Look how many there are. There's two per train car. There's dozens and dozens and dozens, hundreds of truckloads worth, and they gotta pull that over the mountains when they get out west. For now, this train is just arriving here in Winnipeg from out east. This stuff probably all landed on our eastern coast or probably came from the port of Montreal or Thunder Bay or something. And it's all freight going inland. Who knows? There's the end. See, it's got the engine pushing it. And they're all controlled remotely by the engineer in the front, as far as I know. Pretty neat. That would be a fun job. I would love to do that. But alas, I'm a truck driver. This is my part of society. This is my role to play.
it's another beautiful day in Winnipeg. You always wonder why all the vehicles are dirty here. Now you know. It's like this for half the year, and then the other half of the year it's not so bad. But it gets really dirty in winter. It's impossible to keep a vehicle clean. Even if you wash it every day, by the end of the day it'll look like that minivan again. Looks like that minivan's been down the back roads, eh? <laughs> nope, just Winnipeg. Just Winnipeg. That's why it's so hard to keep this thing clean as well. But I think everyone sort of kind of gives up for the most part at this time of year. Why bother, right? I still do my pickup once a week. But any more than that, it's, I don't know, kind of feels, depends how dirty it gets, I guess. I remember driving down in the U.S., their roads there, the further south you went, like away from the cold weather where they got to use all the salt and stuff, the further down you go, the, the cleaner the vehicles are because they don't have to deal with this mess all the time. Timmy's that was built is off to my right. Timmy's thought of the truckers. Finally, they've been watching my videos. 
there's actually truck parking so that you can run in and get your Timmy's. And we got a train. Fantastic. This is exactly what I needed. I just wanted to sit here and waste time waiting for a train that's on the other side of the road. That means that this light won't turn green till that train is gone, even though I want to turn left. But anyways, yeah, the Timmy's across from Deacon's Corner. Everyone knows it. There's a new one there, right? There's some truck parking that Timmy's made for us there. But you have to promise us you're not going to wreck it, okay? That's not overnight parking. You can't sit there and you can't drop your trailers there. You can't leave your rig there for a long It's just there so that we can just swing in there for like a five, ten minute break just to run in and grab our coffee. And then you can come back here to the Petro Pass and spend the night here. That's just so that you don't have to walk like a quarter mile to go and get your Timmy's. They're very nice to us. Let's not ruin that for everybody, okay? Timmy's doesn't always build parking for us truckers. So when they do, we want to make sure we don't ruin it because this might be a test. If they find that truckers are abusing the parking spaces and just leaving their rigs there or spending the night there, they're probably going to put up barricades or something or sell that land to another business because they, they, they could put another business there and rent it out to another business make money off of it, right? But instead they're allowing us to park there for free while we go run in and get our coffee. Well, let's not ruin it, okay? Just go there, get your coffee, and come over to the Petro Pass, spend the night here. Just, just so you know, okay? There's parking there. Shh, don't tell anybody. Let's all be nice and courteous so that they don't take it away from us. Finally, thought of us. They, now all we gotta get them to do is uh, get them to change these lids. You know, one good thing about these lids is it forces me to uh, clean my dash here around my cup holder every day because there's coffee all over the place every day because the lids leak. There's gotta be some kind of better setup for when a train crosses over there because we're backed up like half a mile behind me here. All the cars are backed up into the Petro Canada parking lot to my left here. They've got to wait for traffic to clear before they can even get out of the parking lot. But I guess it is what it is, right? Complaining about it doesn't fix anything. Nobody does anything. Okay, so you're going straight, you're turning, you're turning, you're turning, and so I'm turning. All right, see what we did there? We used our turn signals to notify the other drivers of our intentions. See how smooth that worked? Amazing. All right, let's go. We got stuff to do, places to be, things to bring. day complete. Another dollar in the wallet. Alright. So it was a good day. I gotta quickly go and drop some paperwork off uh, with my mom because she's my accountant. She's been an accountant for uh, 40 years I think. Over 40 years. I mean she'll have to correct me if I'm wrong on that but she runs her own business. So I've always got my taxes done for free. <laughs> uh, I wish she would at least teach me how to do taxes, because one day I'm probably gonna have to do my taxes myself. I've been very fortunate so far, very fortunate. 
We're gonna go drop off some tax papers from quarter four, or from the fourth quarter with her from last year already. Get my GST done. It's almost the end of the, well, it's halfway through the first quarter already. I guess I'm doing better than I do sometimes. Sometimes it takes me like to the end of the, end of the next quarter to bring her my paperwork from the previous one. I'm so bad at remembering things like that. I would be a terrible accountant. People would bring me their paperwork and I'd be like, what's this for? My taxes? What about them? <laughs> I'd be terrible. Okay, buddy. I slow down, you slow down. I speed up, you speed up. Pick. There you go. Oh, that's one of my biggest pet peeves on the road. When people, you can always tell people who don't like uh, appreciate driving. They just want to get from point A to point B. And you can tell who they are just by their driving habits and the way they drive, right? And you can always tell, one of, one way you can tell is because, uh, is if they match your speed, whether you speed up or slow down, they're not actually looking at their gauges. They have no idea how fast they're going. They're just matching your speed. I mean, you go 120, they'll just match you. You go 30 kilometers an hour, they'll just match you. They're trying to keep up with traffic. They don't actually pay attention to what they're doing. They're trying to stay with the flow of traffic. That's one sign that, you know, driving is not really their forte. It's not really their thing. And that's cool. It can't be everybody's thing. It's my thing. I love driving. I think driving is an art form. Everything from using the signals at the proper time to braking at the proper time to lane changing. Everything is an art form, but to some people, they just want to get from point A to point B and they just need something with wheels and a motor to get them there, right? They don't care what happens in between. Those are the ones you got to watch out for on the road. Those are the ones that, uh, <laughs> they might get you into some trouble if you don't pay attention. See, on the road, the biggest thing you got to watch out for, you, you don't necessarily have to watch out for yourself. You have to watch out for everyone else on the road with you. I trust myself driving and I trust the people I know. It's the people I don't know. You're looking at them. What are you thinking? What are you doing? Why are you on Facebook? You're doing like 100 kilometers an hour down the highway. What are you doing on Twitter? Who uses Twitter? I hate Twitter. I hate Twitter. It's such a terrible, toxic platform. And Facebook now and I guess I'm on these platforms. I, I am on there because I want to reach the biggest audience possible. And I realize some of my viewers use Twitter. So I don't mean to insult you. It's not you. I, I just don't like the platform. I, I don't like the way they're run. That's all. Personal feeling. I still use it. So I guess I'm just one of the herd, you know? I didn't quite catch the sunset today. But uh, as I was leaving work... These clouds that are above us here were just a bright red and bright orange. It was gorgeous. By the time I thought of, oh, maybe I should share this, it was already gone. And you know, those, those sunsets, they're gone in seconds. Sometimes, sometimes minutes, but you don't catch them right away, you know, they're gone. And you'll never see that specific sunset again. Everything will be different tomorrow, you know? Different atmosphere, different clouds, different position of the sun. Like, look at this. The sky is still bright out west, and it's 6 o'clock. That's awesome. As soon as daylight savings time hits, we're going to spring forward, right? So this will actually be 7 o'clock and still light outside. That is awesome because it gives us hope. Summer is coming. Beaches. Swimming. Camping. Outdoors. Bonfires. Wiener roasts. The list goes on. <laughs> I just walked in the door and they heard that it was me. Brit's at work, so. <laughs> Is there a bunch of howling wolves in here? Oh, hey, you guys. Mom forgot to leave the light on in your room. That's okay, we were napping. Dad, you smell like diesel fuel. Oh my goodness, you went trucking without me. 
<laughs> Good. Hey, buddy. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Careful. Hey, hey, I got this. I got this. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's my shield! My shield! I'll fight you! I'll fight you! No, don't fight me! Okay, guys. Okay. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Wiener, mom's not here yet. Where is she? Where you do this up? Where you do this up? Where is she? I don't care really about you. Where's mom? See. Brit's been at work all day. She should be home soon. Uh, so I got home before her. We got the house to ourselves for about 10 minutes, probably. All right, so let's let you guys out. You guys wanna go outside? Is that a yes? You wanna go outside? Or are you just excited to see me? You excited? I missed you too, bud. I missed you guys too. All right, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Oh, Frank, Commander. Well, psyche is so long. I gotta go. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, guys. Careful. All right, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wiener, let's go in the yard. In the yard, man. Oh, that backyard light is so nice when it's been charging all day. Hell, we've been having longer daylight hours, so it's had longer to charge. Look at that. That is awesome. I still gotta move this. Uh, uh, you probably can't see it. The little charging pad, the solar panel. Got to put it on top of the roof yet so that it uh, charges even better yet. Because this light will last about this brightness for about like 10 minutes and then it starts getting dimmer already. So, got to get more sunlight to it. Diesel. Diesel. Diesel, everybody's been asking about you, man. Everybody. They all miss you. Oh. 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 <laughs> So you can see the light getting dimmer already. Man. What are you guys eating over here? Stop eating snow. You're not eating yellow snow, are you? See, what we do usually, because that light doesn't last long enough all the way through the evening, we turn on the Christmas lights so that we can see in the backyard. See how they go all the way around the yard? What we're actually planning on doing is, well, once spring comes, I'm taking all these Christmas lights down, obviously, in like a month or two, once it starts warming up a bit, uh, put them away nicely. And then we're going to uh, get patio lights which sort of like patio string lights that we can string out all the way around just like these icicles here but all the way around our whole yard and it'll light up the whole yard so we won't even need this light that much the whole yard will be lit up when we want to be back here having a bonfire or whatever that'll be good that'll be good i think i don't know i don't think it'll be good so how was your day today diesel how was your day you went trucking without me, man. Yonko. Yonko. Could you smell it? I know, buddy. You're getting a little old. See all this gray hair on here? Getting a little old for the truck, man. I got nowhere for you to sleep now, either. Yeah. Just got a hard seat. And maybe you could come along on a short day sometime. But I don't think you would be very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, retirement's treating you well, though. I ain't getting pampered at home. Boy, you put many miles on. This weasel right here has more than one million miles on him. That's miles, not kilometers. He's been over one million miles on the highway. Been to every province of Canada and every territory except Nunavut. Been to almost every U.S. state, except Alaska and Hawaii. You're a well-traveled weasel. You've lived a good life. you got lots of life ahead of you yet, but you live right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, everybody. I appreciate it. We'll see you again tomorrow.